I used the Gripster every single day for 30 days, and the results were interesting. Oh, hi, Mark. What's up, Fichero fam? Welcome back to my channel, where I'd like to explore everything that life has to offer. I've seen a lot of hype about the Gripster. I've seen these crazy before and after photos and videos of people using these and they're like veins popping out and their forearms getting like crazy huge and everything. So I decided to try it for myself and boom. Here is the before and after photos and everything of me trying it out and then what my forearms look like 30 days later. And I'm gonna be honest, in some ways I noticed some benefits from the Gripster, but in other ways, not as much. Now in terms of my workouts, so to speak, I mainly went off of time. So I pretty much go for max reps for a certain period of time, and this is in minutes. So on the first day, I did 30 minutes, almost nonstop of doing it, at 6.6 .6 pounds. And then, as you can imagine, I worked on progressive overload, which means I made each workout harder by increasing the weight. And in some cases, rather than increasing the weight or the time, I just tried to do the same, but do it more with better form and with less breaks. So you can see, as my uh, weight went up, of course, my time went down, understandably, especially the big jump from 13 pounds of resistance to 17 pounds of resistance was pretty big. And then as it got to 21 pounds of resistance, this is actually the halfway point, did it for only five minutes. It was brutal at 21 pounds of resistance. Then every day worked my way up. Ironically on these two days, I actually meant to do an extra minute. I think I somehow messed up the time. I thought it was still at nine minutes or whatever. But anyway, so I had two days of 10 minutes and then finished off on the final day, day 30 of doing 20 minutes at 21 pounds of resistance. And going along with that to show you how these work, and then I'm gonna get into my overall results. So they look like this, as you can see, they're pretty easy to put on. First off, what I suggest is you can see this kind of like hole here, this little clip. So I can adjust the amount of resistance by taking these off and putting them through each hole right here. When you get these, you have two different colors. You have the black ones and the gray ones. The gray ones have three different lighter weights, and then you move up to the black ones, which have 13 pounds, 17 pounds, and 21 pounds. As you can see from my chart, I use the gray ones only a little bit because I felt like I really want to kind of switch to the black ones just because the gray ones are a little bit too easy for me, you know, just being honest. But after you kind of thread these through, right, I'm gonna put them on my wrist. So all I'm gonna do is kind of put them on. It's Velcro, so it looks like this, right, to show you on one hand. Looks like that, so these kind of dangle. I do suggest, putting both on at once. I'm just gonna focus on one arm for now, but you put both these on, so it kind of dangles like that. Looks kind of weird, I know. And then I put my fingers through, like so, just to show you. And then once you do that, all you have to do is open up your hand, and that's it. So this is the entire workout. A big thing I suggest, make sure you get two of them for a couple different reasons. One is to make sure that one, you're doing the same amount on both sides. I'm super, super picky. I hate it when like say, I'm doing a workout and I'm like, shoot, did I do my right side five times or six? I think having two balances that out a lot easier. And of course, as you can imagine the time, it's a lot easier to put on both, you know, do both at the same time than doing one for a certain period of time, take it off, Put it on the other one and do that. Now, in terms of the benefits, these build forearm strength, grip strength, and hand strength. And I gotta be honest, I noticed a significant improvement when it comes to using these, but not to the level of hype I see a lot of influencers promoting. Gotta be blunt. I gotta be honest that yes, I did notice my forearms were a little bit more veiny, I think, to be honest, and definitely got maybe a little bit bigger, but not to this crazy extent. I mean, I saw these videos of people online being like, oh, I use it for five days and now it can crush your head and their veins are popping out. No, I do this a good amount every day for 30 days. Didn't notice these crazy things. Another thing I will say, being very transparent on this video, I am currently going through a bit of a bulking session. So here's like a photo I took recently after, you know, I did a huge workout and I was all pumped up and everything. So it could be that maybe some of my forearm strength and maybe like the size of it growing a bit is for me bulking up, but also it could be a combination of the two. Even on the days that I would work out, I would still use the Gripster. So on one end, being transparent, I didn't notice this crazy benefit that I see a lot of other people having online, you know. I'm not saying they're lying, being honest, but just for me personally, didn't really see this crazy vein popping out like effect. However, a big thing I definitely noticed though, was my grip and form strength 
significantly improved. That goes without question. I noticed, for example, when doing pull-ups that sometimes if I'm doing like say round after round of pull-ups, my grip and my forearms start to get pretty tired. Didn't really have that effect, which means I could do a lot more pull-ups. Another thing is a lot of my workouts involve calisthenics. So a lot of like planches and, and handstands and stuff like that. And a lot of times being honest, especially when it comes to the planche, I get pretty bad wrist pain and hand pain sometimes if I push it too hard and I don't give my body enough time to recover. However, after using the Gripster, I did not have that at all. I noticed my hands got tired way less, which is awesome. So as opposed to like say me going into a planche and having to stop because my hands or my wrists hurt too much, after doing this, even after like say a week or two weeks, I noticed that pain went away very, very quickly. Another thing I will say I like about the Gripster is the fact that it's rubber. So it kind of gives you that kind of resistance band style effect. I know, for example, Tom Brady is a huge fan of resistance bands when it comes to his pliability training. As he stated numerous times, using pliability training, especially with resistance bands, helps train your body to take massive impacts and hits while your muscles are more relaxed. So he's a huge fan of using things like resistance bands. Another thing I like about these I found is I didn't get any negative side effects. As you can see, your hands start here and you open up and then close down, right? So the opening up is the hard part. Now it's interesting is I have used other grip strengtheners before. I used this one before. This is arguably the most popular grip strengthening device or piece of equipment. You hold it, you squeeze it just like this, right? That's pretty much it. And the tension builds when you squeeze inwards. With this is the other way around. The tension builds when you move outwards as opposed to inwards. And for me, when using these ones, I'm not gonna lie, I actually got pretty bad hand pain. Maybe that is just me, but personally when I use the grip strengtheners, I actually started to get wrist pain and hand pain, maybe because I was squeezing in like this. And over time, I found doing this really started to hurt my hands. I'm like, wait, this is actually the exact opposite of what I want to happen. And yes, those did help build my forearms in terms of strength, but because of the pain I was having, I'm like, you know what? I think this is causing almost a negative effect. With the Gripster, did not notice that whatsoever. And I do think it is because, maybe because you're opening up, like so, that kind of creates that, uh, that tension is what creates the strength and everything. So at least for me, I noticed no negative effects when using these. With that being said though, even though there are no negative effects, what are the cons of using these? I would give them, I'd say, 4.5 stars out of five. There's two reasons why I'd give it the 0.5 star reduction. One, sometimes they can be a hassle to like put on, like say I'm doing it and the strap gets loose. It is kind of frustrating to kind of fix them and get them into place, get your hands in place and do them. I mean, it's not that hard, but it is definitely a lot more trickier and more of a hassle than the traditional grip strengthener. The second thing, which I will say, I think is as a result of all these influencers, is the benefits, you know, I mean, like I said, I saw so many before and after photos and videos and stuff like that, where they're like, oh, you're gonna have these crazy big forearms with like your veins popping out. No, not at all. I mean, maybe for some people, gotta be honest, maybe for some people, the way it affects them, maybe they actually do get crazy, like veiny forearms and their forearms get huge. But for me, again, after doing it for a good amount of time, for 30 days, didn't notice that crazy effect. However, I do think looking at the before and after photo, I did notice a difference. But the biggest thing for me wasn't the visualness or the cosmetic, so to speak, effect of using the Gripster. It was definitely the strength. Like I said, when it comes to pull-ups or hanging, when it comes to doing planches and handstands, definitely notice a huge improvement in my forearm strength, grip strength, and hand strength.